Audi and Porsche are both set to enter F1 by 2026, according to VW boss Helmut Dice this morning. Audi and Porsche will enter the sport of F1 as it becomes one of the largest marketing platforms for premium cars. VW boss Herbert Dice said F1 will remain the biggest motorsport spectacle, but they are excited by future growth in key markets such as China and the USA. No details have been given on what teams the two iconic brands could supply. However, rumors suggest Porsche could be set for a tie-in with championship contenders Red Bull. Meanwhile, Audi has links to other teams including McLaren and Williams. The VW chairman made the announcement in a VW Livestream titled Dialogue with Dices on YouTube. He said, at Porsche this is already relatively concrete, at Audi not so much. Formula One is developing extremely positively worldwide. We assume that in 26, 28 it will still be the biggest motorsport spectacle in the world, even more so than today. More in China, more in the USA than today, and thus also the largest marketing platform for premium vehicles. If you do motorsport, you should drive Formula One. That's where the effect is greatest. He added, you can't get into Formula One unless a technology window opens. You need a rule change to get in there. Porsche was last in F1 30 years ago, but Audi has never set foot on the grid. Both teams have been hugely successful in motorsport with victories in the Le Mans 24 hours and Formula E. Audi pulled out of the fully electric championship at the end of the 2021 season. But Porsche are committed to the series until at least 2023-24, but have made previous assertions they were in it for the long term. Both manufacturers are working together on an entry into the 2023 Le Mans 24 hours, and there are fears a similar information share could happen in F1. The Fiat will also likely introduce concessions for newcomer teams from 2026. However, with Audi and Porsche owned by the same company there are concerns teams could pool their resources to hit the front quicker. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff said, it's not clear yet who actually enters as a power unit supplier and who declares themselves as newcomers. It could well be that there are three companies from the same group that are entering as newcomers. <laughs>